Hello, my name is Sean Webster, and today I'll be talking about the risk management matrix. I'll show you my chart to start off. This is a universal chart that people use. I'll give you guys a second to look at it, and I'll get into it. Um, my first scenario is I was working as a salesman at Gander Mountain, um, a gun salesman, and buying a gun is a huge responsibility. Everybody knows that, and it should be taken very seriously. Uh, when you're a gun salesman, though, it's very serious for you because if you were to sell to somebody that had uh, prior convictions, was a felon or something, some sort of um, criminal history, and they were to go out and use that firearm, you would be in charge for selling that firearm to them. So it is a very serious job, and you can get in some serious trouble for it if uh, it were to come back and bite you. So you have to have a good eye for that and you know, be a good judge of character. Um, it's risky for a gun salesman because people always try to finagle the system. Now, for guns, it's going to be a little bit different. Less people are going to do it, obviously, because it's such a big purchase, and it's hard to get away with as you have to do background checks. And it can happen, but it doesn't happen as often. So I rated that on my scale, uh, 0 to 25%, and I put it on the critical because it could be 20. you could do 20 years if uh, you were to get caught selling a firearm to somebody that shouldn't own one. So my second scenario, um, my grandma owned a tavern in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, I was um, I was working as a cashier. And what would happen was like sometimes cops would uh, put stinger operations on to have like kids come in that were underage to buy tobacco or alcohol sales. And so what we did for that was we basically would, uh, you know, you came up with the over forty. So if you looked under forty, we would ID you, and that's how you would stop that. But before then. Um, you would deal with a lot of underage kids, and so they were always like, oh, you know, trying to get me to sell them beer or tobacco or whatever, and you'd have to tell them no. And so that would happen a little bit more than the gun sales, so I, I rated that um, at the 26%, and I also rated that critical because you can get in some serious trouble if you're selling to minors and stuff if you get caught doing that. So you have to be very careful, and cops will try to, you know, put operations on to, like, get you for that stuff, so you have to be careful. Uh, my third scenario, I had an internship at a company, um, a summer internship, and I had to take inventory for uh, like all the computers in there. So I had to take the inventory of the desktops, the laptops, the monitors, and it was like two to three hundred different like um, equipment that I had to take down. And there's a lot of numbers in that. It's not very risky for the company. Obviously, I can go back and change the numbers, but it's risky because you can miss a number and then you, that, that computer could get lost or something could happen that way. So I rated that um, it could happen. It probably would happen that I would miss a number, so I would have to go back and do it. So I rated it in the 76 to 100% category, and it's a minor. And just because it was a hassle. So that is my three scenarios, and hope you have a good day. Thank you.